Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome back to the next Wish slash Mod List video where I would like to talk about things that I would like to see either changed slash added or modded into the game. So first off, um, you know, is that the name of the political party? Really? Top nine. <laughs> Apparently it is. Let's pause here. So today what I want to talk about was the Diplomacy tab, or what's currently known as the Politics tab. I would like to see this completely changed out. I think a lot of this stuff I think should be domestic, like your laws, your affinities, um, pull up all this stuff, like the, you know, the government and power and all that stuff. I think it should all be gone and in the Domestics tab. So we'll ignore that and we're going to go right to this one, the international tab. So first thing I want to say is I want the international tab to stay, but I want to add an internal diplomacy tab, acts and laws tab, an embassies tab, a trade tab, and then a organizations tab. What I'd like to be able to do in the acts and law section is do just that, enable acts or enable laws. Some people change them, like in the states, I think they're called laws. Up here, they're called acts. Like we have the criminal, the criminal code act. Um, we have you know, Act One Three Eight Four Seven that dictates policy associated with internet usage. Um, you name it, we should be able to enact policies here, where we can say, hey, um, you know, the driving age is this age hey um guns are you know the you, you know here's an act associated with guns and that'll have an overall effect um i would love that ability just to enact be able to enact acts um you know the young drivers act um gun acts where they you know just kind of control things um i want that ability to kind of break things down a little bit better when it comes to the, like, have a lot of it to affect industries, but affect your culture and your people and things like that internally, but also then have, depending on how these acts are, have them also make other countries look at you and go, what are you doing? Like, Gun Control Act? Cool. No big deal. Contraception Act? So you can still make contraceptives legal or illegal, but with the act, you would say you can actually narrow it down to saying, hey, you can only be this old. Um, you, you have to be you know, X age to actually access them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the acts themselves, like when you put it in a law, you have to set up an act for it where you kind of set up the rules associated with it. And you do this under the diplomacy or internal diplomacy, because this is where you also um kind of have to set up your internal politics with your actual party um this is where you would and i'm going to get into a little bit but I'll, I'll do it now where you set up your your goals i'm going to get elected if i do a b c and d well in the internal politics it'll say hey these are this is what you promised now you need to do it and this is how you do it um so that's more of an the internal and acts and law system um I want to be able to have politics and trade separate for each nation. So instead of having the politics here and the kind of like here, um, I want to have a tab specifically for trade so I can see who I'm trading with, what I'm trading, um, break it down into the actual value of dollars and the countries that I'm doing it with and all that stuff. Because right now, if I wanted to look into trading internationally, I've got to go to my budget, got to go to my economy. And then I got to go to my sectors, blah, 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 blah. Where instead, if I was here, I could just go, um, you know, go to the trade tab. Cool. What's the country I have picked? Boom. It pops up. These are all the trades. And it also will show you trades that they would like. So it will show you, hey, they're short this, or hey, they have lots of this. So it'll show their deficits and their surpluses on that screen as well. So you can actually be like, hey, I want that, I want that, I want that, I'm going to sell you this, this, and this, and be able to actually create up trade agreements where you're trading multiple things to each other all in one shot. Um, I want the ability to see what's affecting my relations with another country. So right now I know, okay, um... The Czech Republic right now is, boom, at 83% with, with, with the Germans. Um, cool. 
We have an embassy. We have a unit crossing. Okay, cool. Um, but why is it 83%? I want to know why, what it is. Um, and I also want to know via a tooltip how I can get, you know, our opinions up or down. What can I do to get, to make my relationship better? Or what do I need to do to make it worse? Because maybe I want the country to hate me to declare war on me so we can go to war. Um, I want the ability under the organization tab to create uh, organizations and treaties like NATO, OPEC. Why not? I want that ability to be like, hey, this is NATO. These are the countries in NATO. You can create a new one and say the name. And then in the back end, this game, the game will just be like, okay, cool. What is this? And you say it's a different, um, and have a, uh, basically have, you don't even need to call it NATO. You can just have just a template, say defensive pact. And then put in brackets like NATO, so you know that if anyone gets declared on, everybody just automatically declares war. There you go. Um, OPEC is more of a obviously industrial, domestic uh, industrial political um, deal where it's like, hey, you have to produce this much oil, um, and you have to follow the following guidelines. You have to produce this much oil. This much needs to be uh, created internationally, and then every now and then we have meetings, both, for example, NATO and OPEC, where depending on how these meetings go, remember, role play with your character, um, and how you interact with everyone else in the organization, you could get kicked out, um, or you can positively or, in, or negatively impact both the organization or even your own country, depending on what's going on. Um, I want to be able to do deals um, in the trade section with more than one country. I want to be able to do maybe trilateral trade agreements. Like, hey, Canada sends, you know, wood to the U.S. The U.S. then turns that wood into planks. Planks then go to, to Germany. Germany then turns those planks into furniture. Canada then buys the furniture from Germany. Something like that. I would love to be able to do certain things like that with mul multiple products too. Even have it going like from Germany to Canada to the U.S. or U.S. Germany Canada or Canada. Like yeah, like I want to be able to have like very complex trade deals where you know it's like hey we're you know three four eight countries where everyone's just trying to like you know connect the dots type thing with trade. Um, I want to have the ability of a section that's kind of like the UN where you can role play your character uh, where you know if you want to have a speech to try to get everyone to hate country A or B um, because you may have gone into country B as country A and started a little scuffle between A and B and now you're coming and going look at them they're too busy just squabbling they're ruining everything um, if everyone's okay with it I'm going to send my troops into both countries and fix everything cool Okay, cool. Boom. There we go. Something like that. Um, I want the ability in... So, embassies, it'll be just that. It'll show you a list of all the embassies of countries you have and all the different little arrangements that you have with each other. So, for example, human development, cultural exchanges, things like that. I want to have the tab under the embassies where you click the embassy and you have all the different country logos. And that's it. That's, that's, that's the only thing on the screen. You go to embassies, and it's just the country's logos of the country you have an embassy with. You then click it, and boom, right there. It shows up on the right. And it shows up on the right. It just shows you all the different arrangements you have with them. If you have trade deals, how much money you're making from them. Just the political and trade stuff. And that's it. If you're in any organizations together... There you go. So that way you can just see from a quick glance countries you have embassies with. You know, click, click, boom, and you see everything. Um, I want to have the ability to have random disasters on the map and have the ability via, obviously, the international organizations or even just under the international tab itself to be able to send aid to said country, whether it be, you know, food, water, construction equipment you name it um i want to have random uh incidences occur to do more role playing um in this tab so for example under um just international or even embassies it will have like all of a sudden a little thing saying hey something's going on at the denmark embassy 
you click on it and down here it'll say you know well um, it'll have like a little event name you click the event name and boom screen pops up and it tells you what's happened at that embassy whether it's your people in their country or their country and yours and something's happened and it could positively or negatively impact your relations with said country um i think this is the screen this page as well under international we should be able to set on and off um emigration with, diff with different countries so instead of a human development or even cultural exchange have open borders with that country be like hey come on in and does it say the person in charge of belgium is john doe I wonder if this is because I just played them. I think that's why. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I want to be able to also, as I mentioned, in the tree, uh, in a, in a, in a, in a, hopefully in one of these options, uh, or one of these tabs, the ability to uh, set up treaties with restrictions, who can join, who can't join, you know, multi-party democracy, single-party democracy, a GDP above or below a certain thing, um, restricted to a region so like europe africa south america north america etc um you know have a whole bunch have like maybe seven or eight restrictions a region restriction gdp restriction yes or no and if you sick like let yes you can pick the actual number um have it so that it's you know um you know um have political um restriction and then you can put in you know democracy not democracy etc 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 could even be a military treaty where it's like hey your military has to be spending this much money and you have to have a military this size things like that um i want to be able to also from this page as well um be able to order military units or have those like uh, be able to con they put, sign contracts with um i guess it'd be under trade i guess um set up production licenses where i can buy licenses from countries to build things like as canada i would love to be able to reach out to germany and be like hey i want to be able to build the leopard 2 how much will it cost a license for you know per year and then germany says hey it costs this much money to uh have a production license for the leopard 2 i say okay and now boom i can now build leopard 2s for a year after that year is up i then get a pop-up saying hey um germany would like you know would you like to extend this yes or no if you say yes it'll reopen up the negotiation there may be more it might be less money who knows um i would also like the ability obviously this would be on our international diplomacy but the ability to create puppets and protectorates i would love to be able to do that um i also want to be able to list or uh, label a country a rogue nation um, as one, in one of these things. Uh, I want to be able to designate prior to a nation a territory becoming. This is actually working perfectly. So before a region becomes contested, I want to be able to, in front of the international world, declare a region disputed. So I want to be able to be like, hey, this region over here, no, that's mine. I'm disputing that this is someone else's and then be able to then from that be able to send in special forces and all these things because i think stability should also be broken down to a region if a region has low stability you should be able to be like hey so this region in hold on let's turn that off you know, this region here uh Zillin. yeah you know what as hungry i don't think uh the czech the czech republic are, are controlling this thing uh we have people coming over the border all the time blah 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 um we believe as hungary we have the responsibility to you know take over this region and you know looking at its stability and all that stuff we feel that you know it's our responsibility to safeguard the people of this region and then you know that's when you can start sending in special forces to make it worse and make it contested and then you can go from there i want the ability under international the uh this is gonna sound weird but politics to be able to build artificial islands 
I want to be able to basically right click somewhere. I'm looking at you, China, and be like, hey, I want to build an island. I want to build it here. I want to build it there. I want to build it there. Um, I also want to have in the uh, organization options as well, a World Bank, um, the IMF, World Health Organization. Um, even be able to make up organizations that have people join. If you have a certain percentage of the world companies, uh, world companies, the world countries join, boom, that becomes an organization. Um, and it impacts positively or negatively, you know, everyone's uh, relations and stuff. I want to have those things in the diplomacy option. Like I said, I want a lot of the stuff when it comes to politics internally to go to the domestic tab. And I want all the international stuff in its own diplomacy tab. With that in mind, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. A quick video today. No big deal. In the next video, we're going to be talking about... Actually, we're just going to be talking about the general stuff. Uh, what I would like to see in general in the, uh, in the game. Kind of add it in. And uh, yeah, with that in mind, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate you watching this because you could have watched it anything else, but you watch this. So thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.